everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Dee Osborne and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to make this great um, birthday card, masculine birthday card, using the On the Ocean stamp set and die cuts. So if you like this video as you go along, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked about the video and I'll, I will comment back to everyone who comments to me. So let's get started. Let's see what we need to make this card. It's actually very, very simple. Um, I started with a piece of Knight of Navy, cut it eight and a half by five and a half, scored it four and a quarter. You fold that in half and give that a nice crisp fold with your bone folder. Or if you don't have a bone folder, you can use a, a block or anything, you know, just um, make that, you know, lay flat a little bit better. Then um, I took a piece of basic white, cut it five and a quarter by four, and that's gonna get glued to the inside. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm almost completely recovered from my pneumonia. Um, not quite, but I would say 98%. Still, I still get a little tired and my voice isn't quite back to where it should be, but um, it's almost there. Okay, so then I took a piece of balmy blue, cut at five and a quarter by four, and I glued it to the front. Okay. All right, I glued this to the front. And get that on there and center that on there nicely. Okay, and then we have our card base built, our card base and our card front. <clears throat> so then I took from the On the Ocean uh, stamp set, I took um, the, what is that, the ship, <laughs> and I stamped it in um, Knight of Navy. And then I took, and I've already done this for you, then I took the dies. The dies are wonderful. Um, this one cuts out the image that you stamp of the ship. And then you have um, another ship that you can cut out. It's a little bigger than this, that you can just cut out of cardstock. This little piece um, will cut this out. This is like a little cloud. This stamps wonderfully. I'll show you that here in just a minute. Um, and then you've got some that cut out some um, waves. And then you can make your ship into a pirate ship. And then there's the steering wheel. I don't think that's what it's called, but the steering wheel um, for that. So this is a great little set um, um, just to make all kinds of little masculine cards. And just I just love it. And it stamps so nicely. So there's the die cut that I used um, to cut it out. So here it is. I stamped it in Knight of Navy and, um, and then cut it out. Okay, so I ha we have that. <clears throat> then I took some stitched rectangles. And I cut out a piece of Knight of Navy with a stitched rectangle. And I cut out a piece of white with a stitched rectangle. And so then I'm going to get my Knight of Navy ink pad. I'm going to open that up. I'll put my, my ship off to the side here. Um, and I got a blender pen. And I'm going to ink it up. And you start off your paper. Because when you set it down, you know it makes a little blob. So you, you don't want that on your card. So you set it down and you go into your card. And I wanted the blue a little bit darker on the bottom. So you get some blue on the bottom and then you just kind of go lightly up to the top. So it's like a sky. And that's all there is to that one. Super easy, right? So dark on the bottom for the sea and then lighter on the top for the sky. And then you're going to take the stamp, um, from um, the, you know, on the ocean, this wave, the waves one, and I'm going to ink it up in Night of Navy, and this thing stamps so incredibly beautifully, so I'm going to ink it up real good, and I'm just going to stamp it kind of almost at the bottom, but not quite, so I'm just going to stamp it straight down, straight up. Look how gorgeous that is. 
I love that. So there's that. And that's um, all I did with the Knight of Navy. Then I also took um, some Memento Black and I took the stamp from the stamp set um, that says, um, actually I do need one more thing with the Knight of Navy, but we'll come back to that. Um, the, the stamp that's got the birds on it. And you kind of want to look and see where your ship is going to be. I kind of liked it at an angle like that so it looks like it's going up over the waves. And you ink up your birds and then um, then you can stamp them on there and you'll kind of know where your ship's going to be, right? So <clears throat> then um, I took the um, happy birthday this little bitty happy birthday from the On the Ocean stamp set. And um, we're going to put that to the side real quick. So I'm going to do this before I forget. I should have done it before I glued it down, but it's okay. I want to do it before I forget. I'm going to ink it up with Night and Navy. And I'm just going to um, stamp it down here at the bottom. And hopefully I can get it on here straight. <laughs> so just... Right there down at the bottom okay all right here's that and then I um, I just used glue dots um, or you could use glue I'll just use glue I think for this um, what did I use the last time yeah I don't know we can use glue doesn't matter um, put some glue on your ship and then glue it down to your your card piece and then you can kind of move it with when you have the glue you can kind of move it put it where you want it because so I want it to kind of go be going up like that like it's going over going up on the wave right I love it okay so then you're gonna glue that to your Knight of Navy piece Okay, get it all centered on there real nice. This is just a such a quick and easy, beautiful, classic looking masculine birthday card. I'm going to turn that over, kind of get the glue all stuck on there, right? Okay, now um, I popped this piece up. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, I used um, some dimensionals. And um, let me get my dimensionals. Oops, those are the little ones. I don't want the little ones. I want the bigger ones. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put dimensionals on the back. One in each corner. I like to put one in each corner and one in the center. I know some people like to put them, you know, on the sides as well. I don't always think that that's necessary. So, um, and you know, things are expensive. So that's how I do it. Um, you can do more if you think it needs it. So you peel those off and then you're just going to place this on your card. I got a little bit of ink right there. So you're just going to place this down on your card. And let's see if I can maybe erase this off of here. Nope. So if you get ink on your card like that, you can always put some, um, you know, uh, rhinestones or something like that to cover that. So I may go back and do that afterwards. But there you have it. That's it. Easy and simple and just super classic looking. A great masculine birthday card. So this was just a quick and easy video to show you how to make this super quick um, classic looking um, masculine birthday card and you could change the sentiment you could put whatever you wanted down there thinking of you you know whatever happy anniversary you know um, this you could do a thinking of you or you know anything like that okay um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope this has inspired you to go out and grab an on the ocean 
and give try your hand at it and maybe try play with some of those dies i want to do that too and maybe make a bigger ship so fun i can't wait to play more with this set so i hope that you've enjoyed this and i hope that you are inspired and i hope that you have a great rest of your day please do come back and see me have a great rest of your day